Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm making this video because uh, I hear some criticism about Sheikh Imran Hussein's uh, analysis about Russia and Islamic eschatology of how Russia may play into the future of the Muslim events and so on and so forth. In order to understand his analysis, it might be important to understand this. The Quran clearly shows us two different types of Christian attitudes. And so when the Quran says you will find Christians near you, you have to first understand these two different attitudes. One attitude is, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ لَيْسَتِ النَّصَارَ عَلَىٰ شَيْءٍ And the Yehud, they say the Christians have nothing. وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَ لَيْسَتِ الْيَهُودُ عَلَىٰ شَيْءٍ And the Christians say the Jews have nothing. Meaning there is an antagonism of who is on the truth between the Christians and the Jews. So this is one group. Even though they're reading the same book, it's the same Old Testament, but they, one group says, you have nothing of the truth, and the other says, you have nothing of the truth, even though they're taking their scripture from the same, from the same book, from the same Old Testament. Another group of Christians, <coughs> they say, No one will enter Jannah unless they're Christian or Jew. لَنْ يَدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا Be Christian or Jew. كُونُوا هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تَحْتَدُوا قُلْ بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Another place Quran says, they say, be Christian or Jew, that's good. And then Allah says, بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ But no, حَبِيَبْ دِي مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ So there are Christians who, and this is also very important to note, throughout history, throughout Christian history, Christians have always, always oppressed the Jewish people. So, there was always antagonism from the Christian to the Jews. Why? Very simple. They killed their God. Who killed Jesus? Jews killed Jesus. This was the simple narrative, the classical narrative. Is Jews killed Jesus, Jews are bad. <clears throat> if you ever look into the writings of KKK, the white supremacist, they say Jews are worse than animals because they tried to kill Jesus. So then there are the then history came and formed a new type of Christianity that started from the uh, the Reformation with Martin Luther, okay, and then ended up basically they took away the Pope, so they, there was no more Pope. Uh, they did away with the Old Testament for the most part, except for like prophecies, so they weren't going to follow any of the laws in the Old Testament. And then they just had the New Testament. This Protestant Christianity became friends with the Jews, and it became like a Judeo-Christian millah, or a Judeo-Christian civilization. When you found yourself in a, or when we find ourselves, in a state where the, the two religions are like one civilization. The two religions are like one civilization. And they both say, look, we're both good and the rest are wrong. The Judeo-Christian civilization is right and the rest are wrong. Then you find that this is a type of Christianity that is different from that Christianity that will be closer to Muslims. Because this Christianity will say what? The Jews and the Christians will not be happy as a civilization until you follow their millah, their civilization. Because they're calling towards the same civilization. So now, now that we understand that there are two types of Christianity, even within uh, the life of the Prophet ﷺ, you had different types of responses from different types of Christians. In Ethiopia, Najashi had one reaction. The Coptics, they had one different type of reaction, mostly a positive reaction. And then Hercules in the West, in the Byzantine Empire, had more of a, compared to the other two, had more of a negative reaction. So there are many different types of Christianities. So now the type of Christianity that has Rahban, because this is what the eye of the Quran says, you will find because they have to see seen wa Rahban. They have monasteries. The Christianity that does away with monasteries, which is the Protestant Christianity, rather than the Orthodox Christianity. The monks, they have the beards. 
they follow the Islamic uh, teachings or the teachings of the scriptures of the Torah and Injil. They have bunks. They don't have the kabur. And then there is that Christianity which is doing away with the monks, is doing away with the monasteries and that type of lifestyle. And Christianity, in fact, becomes Zinatul Hayat dunya part of that glamour and materialism, which I'm not going to go into. It's called the prosperity principle in Christianity amongst the Protestants. You give to religion, you become richer. Literally, this is the type of thinking that some Christians have. But anyway, the point I wanted to make is that what about Syria? So over here, I made so far the point there are two types of Christianity. One type of Christianity is that says, oh, Judeo-Christian civilization is correct, and they get along with those people that were always considered the enemies, which is, in itself, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. But I'm talking about in relationship to who will help the Muslims. The Judeo-Christian civilization as a whole, will always stand against Muslims because the Quran said so. And that Christianity that has monasteries and monks will help the Muslims. Now, how does that play out in the real world today? What you have to understand, why is Russia in Syria, first of all? Because the criticism is, well, if Russia was going to help the Muslims, why are they hurting Muslims in Syria? And that's a good question. Now, about Russia itself, or about Orthodox Christians, because Orthodox Christianity is there. Russia was a communist state. And as it's transitioning into a very, very Christian state, so this is one thing that needs to be kept in mind. So it went from an atheistic and an agnostic perspective to a very religious perspective. This change is coming into Russia very quickly. Number one. Number two that as Russia is changing in from communist to a very religious uh, Christian state, Russia is in Syria because they, are, they were building a pipeline from Qatar to Saudi Arabia going through Syria into Turkey. And if that happened, Russia has a Russia's existence is on giving oil to Europe. But if they built this pipeline, okay, from Qatar to Saudi Arabia, and you can go Google this, you know, the oil and Syria, just type in Google oil and Syria, you'll see this. From Qatar to Saudi Arabia to Syria to Turkey, if they had built that pipeline, then it would have been the end of, uh, of Russia, financially, because the U.S. has already uh, destroyed Russia economically. Russia is not in Syria because of the a problem with the Muslims. Russia is in Syria for its own survival and as, an as a new opponent against the United States because the United States is threatening its survival with this new pipeline that they were trying to build. This needs to be understood. So, yes, Russia, when it comes to survival, will kill whoever it sees to, for its survival. But in the long term, as Russia is going through this transition, and if you understand that Russia is going through this transition, and if you understand that the Quran clearly states that there are two different Christianities, there's one that says Jews have nothing, and we're on the truth, and there's those that say, be Jew or Christian, you'll be guided. And the ones that say, be Christian and or Jew, you'll be guided. Allah says about them, The Jews and the Christians will never be happy until you follow their path. So what Sheikh Imran Hussein calls Santa Claus Christianity. Santa Claus Christianity is a type of Christianity that can mesh with anything, really. Um, but Orthodox Christianity is a Christianity that is going to Muslims will find some type of Nusra at some point, this is another issue, with the people that have the monks. The monks have the beards, they hold on to tradition, and they're not trying to change their deen, they're not trying to change their Islam or their Christianity, they're not trying to change it, but they're trying to go back to its original. And that is most prominently happening in Russia, and also the type of sect 
that's in Russia is the same type of sect that was there at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, the Orthodox uh, Greek Christians, when these verses were revealed. And uh, so we'll see, inshallah. But this is a clarification about that issue. Assalamu alaikum.